Hey, what's good guys? Hope everybody's having an amazing day. So, as you guys may know, I've been vlogging with this setup for quite a long time. I have this, what kind of mic is this? Uh, a KNF concept microphone. So I have a Canon T5i, KNF concept microphone. I've been using this microphone for a long time. It's super cheap. It's only like, I think, $30. I finally got a new microphone. I'm going to go show you guys right now. So the new microphone I picked up for around $50 is called a Comica something something. I don't even know what it's called. The branding right there, Comica. This plugs in right into the camera. So this is this is the audio you guys are hearing from the old old microphone. Let me plug this in right now and you guys are hearing the new audio. Okay, so the new microphone is now plugged in. Hopefully you guys can hear a difference. I spent around $50, 40 to $50 on it compared to this one. It's a KNF concept microphone. So, I'm going to show you guys the packaging because why not on both microphones. Okay, so this is the KNF concept microphone. That's what's right here. You guys can't even see that. Like, what is this packaging? Watch, let me open it up. It's just manuals and then there's just foam. That's it. So, inside of this box right there came this, like, carrying case for the microphone. Oh, it's, I'm using it on the camera right now. So basically it came with two extra cords, one for your phone, one for the camera. Came with a different like a different windscreen. It's somewhere in this bag. Okay, so it came with this windscreen, super small and tiny. Same thing as like pretty much the same thing as this, but just smaller. And also came with this dead cat up here, as you guys seen. And it came with the little mount to hold the microphone and the microphone itself. So let me go show you guys what it looks like in the mirror. Okay, so I took the dead cat off just so you guys can see what the mic looks like by itself. This is what it looks like on top of the camera. That's what it looks like on top of the camera. Let me take it off and show you guys from like the side angle of it. So this is what the microphone looks like. It's pretty cool. So I totally forgot, I also got this Joby Gorilla tripod with a different ball head because I already had this ball head on. So this is what the tripod looks like. Super cool. I like the weight to this. I think this can carry around 6.6 .6 pounds. All the links will be in the description of where I bought the ball head, the actual tripod itself, the Comica microphone. Okay, I'm super hyped on this. This is what the old cam this is what the camera looks like with the whole thing put together. So I'm really digging it. It has the, gr the Joby Gorilla tripod. It has the Comica microphone. Let me show you guys the side angle of it. That's what the camera looks like from a side angle. It looks pretty cool. I guess I'm a vlogger now. Now, but on a serious note, guys, let's. I need to talk to you guys about something that's super crazy. Like, I honestly can't believe this. Okay, guys, so let's start it off by saying around two years ago, you guys might have. Actually, I don't know if you guys know this. Um, I've told a couple people that I'm really close to that I got my scooter stolen. I had like. NV Heist Reaper Bars or whatever you call them. I had like an NV AOS V3 deck. It was pretty, pretty cool scooter. Super lightweight. Stolen around two years ago after November 17th. Basically what happened was around like three days ago, I was scrolling through the app Let Go because I always like to like look at old scooter parts and all and just see what people are selling. I was going through Let Go and I actually found my scooter. I, I, didn't, re I didn't really take it in yet. I was like, Oh wait, that's my scooter while I was going through it. And then I was like, wait, that's my scooter. So I'm like freaking out. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so crazy. This dude finally posted a picture of my old scooter after two years. And it looks pretty much the same. It had a Raymond Warner signature on the side of the deck. So crazy. So hopefully I can get that scooter back soon. That's, gonna, that's literally going to be insane if I actually do get it back. Anyways, guys, that was a quick story. That's honestly so crazy that... I found the scooter after two years. Let's go do some scooter maneuvers. Let's redo that. Maybe one more. <laughs> okay, no more flares.
I was almost death. <laughs> One more try. I can't even do these straight. Like, I can't do them flat at all. I get nowhere close. I get really close air though. Yo, you're helping me out, man. You're really helping. Dude, you're actually helping. Come here. You're helping me so much. You're helping. You're gonna help me again, Jeremy Paul. King Paul. Okay, you're a good boy. I'm gonna land this right now. Let's go, let's go. Go on. That was more perfect than like even perfect. So I finally landed the inward. I done. I tried to film a video like this before, and it didn't turn out good. I did over at least 60 inwards. <sighs> totally not counting, but 60 inwards. Anyways, I finally landed two of them. I think I can do them now a little bit better than I was doing them before because the thing with inwards air, inward airs are you have to not turn so much on the on the quarter. You can't turn a lot or else you're not going to land it. You have to pop up inward that way and then turn your body and the inward will naturally just come around. The hardest part about landing inwards for me was probably the landing. I don't know. I just couldn't seem to stick my feet on the, all the time. But if I did try to commit to them, I always hit my left knee. I don't know. It's just me. I need to work on them a lot more. But anyways, that's probably going to end it. Whoa, where are you going? You're going to fall. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the tarp over this ramp. And then we're going to head over to the church that way. To back over those houses. And then we're going to get some more clips over there. So I'm not even going to do a time lapse or anything. Let's just do a quick transition. Boom. So we are pretty much here at the church. There's quite a bit of people here, so let's see if we can actually get some clips here. So I'm mainly going to be riding this little, like, bank thing, and I'm going to be riding that manual pad over there. A lot of people are showing up, so that's probably going to be it. 